What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at this 2016 Ford F250. This is a massive heavy duty truck from the US which we don't really see here that often because they are massive and well today i'm going to show you around it we're going to take a look at it and take a drive of course towards the autobahn for believe it or not an autobahn drive yes we are taking this thing to the autobahn now this is buena vida supercars work truck basically they use it to tow their rental cars all across the country because they also offer a delivery option with their rental cars so they bought this car for that purpose recently uh, if you want to rent a supercar at Buena Vida make sure you mention Autotop NL for a 10% discount I'll put the link uh, in the description to their website they have a lot of awesome cars for rent like uh, Ferrari FF like the Nissan GTR Nismo we did recently I mean there are a lot of cool cars over there so go take a look now the F250 Super Duty truck. This is a platinum version, which means that it is a luxurious version. But in the US, these are also used as proper work vehicles like snow plows or salt spreaders. And it actually offers an optional extra, which works like a generator uh, from the gearbox for like a snow plow or a salt spreader or whatever. So it is a real work vehicle and I think that is the best way to differentiate the F-150 and the F-250 or the regular F-series and the Super Duty series which is F-250, 350 and 450. The F-150 is a light vehicle. It, it is basically a regular road vehicle for people and their luggage. An F250 is made for people who use this car for their job or need to tow really heavy stuff. It is bigger, it is higher, it is wider, it has a longer wheelbase. It is massive. I hope that the GoPro does this car justice. But you guys know that I am like almost two meters tall, so I'm like six foot five, I think. And this thing is taller than me. It is huge. This thing is as high as my chest, the, the front. So it is massive. So uh, this is the Power Stroke diesel version, the 6.7 liter, as you can see right there, turbo diesel V8, 6.7 liters. Uh, this 2016 model also came as a 6.2 liter V8 petrol version with uh, 390 horsepower something like that this car has 450 horsepower as stock but this one has been tuned to 500 now suspension wise at the front we've got these huge springs as you can see with a massive damper next to it the cool thing about the fact that this is such a high car is that you can really see everything so these are nitro rich grappler tires you can see that they are really bolstered basically it is a you can actually tow stuff off-road with this as well massive side mirrors everything is big with this thing i absolutely love it and then at the rear we've got this exhaust which i'm not sure if that exhaust is stock because it sounds quite insane and at the rear we've got these leaf springs as you can see I can put my freaking entire head in here leaf springs at the rear just like with an f-150 but these are much stiffer than the f-150 because you can load much more crap in the back of this thing and uh, i mean if you have this thing loaded up you need the springs to still work so they are quite stiff which means if you drive it empty it is quite a rough ride uh, the chassis has been fortified as well i believe for the f-250 and then <laughs> what there's a, there's a whole lot of crap in here. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, but you've got a massive truck bed. And, well, this is basically F-150 Plus. So we'll take a look at the engine. If we can actually reach that. There we go. 
So there is the Power Stroke diesel. As I said, this one has been tuned from 450 roughly to 500 horsepower stock. This thing has 860 foot pounds of torque, which is around 1260 newton meters of torque stock. And this one has been tuned. So I'm guessing it has like 1400 newton meters of torque right now. Uh, it is absolutely insane. The, the torque and the pull this thing has, even though it weighs like like 3,200 kilos, it still moves. I mean, it's not quick, but you still feel like there is proper power in this car. So in the rear, as I said, we've got the platinum. So that means that we've got nice leather in brown here, wood trim and heated seats in the rear as well. Very luxurious. And then in the front, we're going to mount this vehicle like you should. One foot on the sideboard, one hand there, and then you get in. It is quite a tall car to get into, but it is freaking awesome. In here, very utilitarian. So this 2016 model uh, didn't get all the updates the F-150 got. Of course, the F-150 is sort of a consumer car and this is more commercial. So the F-150 buyer wants luxury, it wants they want the car to be quiet and uh, nice riding on the highway and stuff like that. The F-250 doesn't get that luxury, but I will let you guys hear it. So. It actually sounds pretty good. Some black smoke is coming out of the exhausts at the rear. And then we've got some wood trim here as well. We've got this massive, storage area this this is so freaking big that is i really love that about these pickups and of course all um, big pickup manufacturers have one of these heavy duty things so you've got a uh, a Dodge Ram 2500 instead of a 1500 you've got a Toyota as well a Titan i believe and uh, a Chevy Two, I, I guess a Chevy as well. So we've got a six-speed automatic gearbox. And I am going to take you guys through the tunnel because it is just too funny not to. We do have uh, one issue with the roof. So this roof, if you close it all the way, it, it, it makes this weird whistling sound. So I opened it just a little bit. I think this is actually the best way to do it. But for the tunnel, we'll open it a little bit. We'll open the windows as well. Because honestly, this thing sounds pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> you can actually hear the turbo whistling away. And you can actually hear the fact that you're driving a V8. It, it sounds like nothing else I've ever driven. It, it really sounds like a freaking truck, like a, like a big truck, like a lorry. Insane. Now, maneuvering like this, in a car this big i was expecting it to be horrible but it's actually not bad the steering is super light and the wheels turn very far so the turning radius isn't even that bad and it kind of feels manageable i mean i'm driving on these like country roads so i'm guessing that if you drive it around town it's going to be absolutely horrifying but on roads like these it's fine <laughs> All right, so driving it on a regular road. As I said, power-wise, it's not bad. That's not even full throttle. Uh, it's actually pretty doable. And the only thing that really would get on my nerves is the suspension because it is so hard, so stiff, and it, the car moves around and it just, 
it gets hit by little bumps and it, it goes through the entire car. It's really crazy. But again, steering is very light. It handles like, like an F-150. It's just so much bigger than a regular car. It's, it's outrageously big. It really doesn't work on these like European roads. I mean, it's fine when you're driving here, but as soon as you go like into that village, it's going to be mayhem. So performance, I have no freaking clue because I can't really find any info on this 2016 one, but I did a nine second zero to 100, but I think I, it should be able to do it much quicker. So I guess like eight and a half for this one should be possible, which isn't bad. I mean, this thing weighs like 3,200 kilos. Uh, it can tow so freaking much. It can tow up to, I think it was 16,600 pounds, uh, which is like seven and a half thousand kilos. And that is if you use one of those gooseneck trailers that, that sits in the, in the bed, basically. Uh, that's when you can tow the most. And of course, if you go up, F350, F450, you can tow more and more uh, with those cars. But an F450 is basically just a massive uh, truck. Like a, I think, I, I think an F450 is like twice as high as this even. <laughs> so we've got a six speed gearbox. And then as you have seen, probably you operate it using one of these US stalks and there, are two buttons on here. You, have, you can see that it's got a plus and a minus, and that's basically to exclude the higher gears. So if I hit that button, minus, it, it limits the gears to first through fifth, and then I can choose to do that for one, two, three, and four, or even one, two, and three. So that is for towing that you exclude the higher gears. It also has all these like trailer and uh, towing uh, ESP systems and traction controls and stuff to prevent the trailer from deviating from course and stuff like that, but we don't really care about that. Howdy. We're just taking a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is manscaped.com. Now, you might know Manscaped from their formulations and premium tools for below the waist grooming. In fact, manscaped.com is trusted by over 4 million men worldwide for their premium tools and formulations. As the leader in men's grooming, manscaped.com is now going beyond the groin with their new Plow 2.0 safety razor. As you can see, packaging is beautiful and if you are a fan of a single blade close shave result, then look no further. What I love about this razor is the simplicity. This gunmetal gray razor looks absolutely stunning and just like that Ford F250, it is very utilitarian. It serves one purpose and it's very good at that. With a razor burn reducing cutting angle and rust resistant materials, you can ensure you're always getting a close, clean shave. So how does that work? Let me quickly show you. Just unscrew the handle from the head, get a replacement blade, you can actually opt into the Manscaped hygiene plan and receive quarterly replenishments of nice fresh blades and screw back the handle, which gives you a nice double-edged razor. So where do you store your Manscaped razor? In the shed travel bag, of course. Waterproof and super handy to store all your other Manscaped products. So make sure you check out manscaped.com. Use code AUTOTOPNL for a 20% discount and free worldwide shipping. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. And stay fresh, cowboys. I have to say that this diesel, this is also the more powerful option. It's more powerful than the, the petrol. But I have to say it's, it's feeling a lot better than I was expecting. Maybe that's also the tune, but It feels like a proper V8. So there's the whistle. We're going to open the window a little bit. That's better. This is also a bit of sound coming through the cabin, but it's not as annoying as the whistle. So I'm full throttle, 
since I got onto the Autobahn and we are nearing the 200k mark. But I'm going to let off because it's a bit busy here. But I've actually been able to do 200 kilometers an hour GPS speed with this car and I was not expecting that. And we also did a measurement from 100 to 200 and I did a 37 something 100 to 200, which is not the slowest. It's not the slowest car we've measured, which I was really not expecting that. It is the third slowest. So the Mustang GT EV Mark E thing is last. And then we've got the VW Up GTI is uh, second to last. And then we've got this one, 37 seconds, 100 to 200. It, it, it does take a while, but I was not expecting it to be able to do that. So the feeling you get when you drive this car is even more than in an F-150. It's a go anywhere vehicle, you know, it, it just feels like with those chunky tires, those big wheels, the immense ground clearance and suspension travel that you can just drive over, well, just about anything basically. And uh, it is a great feeling. It's not sophisticated. It's not comfy or anything like that. It's just a crazy big ass truck that holds a lot of crap and can pull a lot of crap. And uh, it is awesome at that. <laughs> it, is, it is very, it is a lot of fun to drive this car actually. Just because of the sheer idiocy of the car here in Europe. It, it's just so large, but I like it. You guys know I like me some pickups. Look at that. This is normally, this would be quite a large van, but now, not so much. Not so much. Not so much, I should say. It's not a big van. <laughs> Brakes are not even that bad. I'm telling you, it's not that bad. I was expecting this car to be so much worse but maybe that's the that's the key probably because i was expecting it to be absolutely horrible too slow too big brakes don't work and nothing works but it it's not bad i like it thanks guys at buena vida for letting us drive your work truck really appreciate it and enjoyed it to you guys hope you enjoyed it uh, I don't think anyone has ever taken an F-250 Super Duty diesel on the Autobahn. Well, I, I don't really know that, but I'm guessing. So uh, if you find one, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe by clicking the big button. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.